Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to do a DIY project with three things that I picked up recently at the thrift store. So I grabbed these four light colored bowls when I was at the thrift store and I had a great idea to make them into a sign. So I decided I wanted to put a little bit of white paint on here and you guys, I am just using some sample paint that I had from Sherwin-Williams when I was painting my bathroom white. I had a couple of sample containers so I wanted to use that paint up. So I'm literally just kind of brushing that on to distress these a little bit and that's all I did. Next I used my Cricut to cut out the letters H, M, and E and I just used contact paper from Dollar Tree and I'm making a stencil so that I can paint underneath there. So the part where it actually has the letters I'm just going to discard those because I don't need that and then I'm going to cut out the letters and put them into the bowls. Now, if you'd like to use transfer tape, you can to put these in there, but for me, I just peeled them off and placed them in my bowls because I knew I was going to have to move them around to get them positioned where I wanted them to. Next, I'm going to come in with some gray paint and I'm just going to dab the paint lightly in to cover the letters. And I'm doing two thin coats. That's what I do whenever I stencil. If you guys enjoy watching my Trash to Treasure videos, make sure that you're following me on Instagram because throughout the week, I will be posting in my Instagram stories what I pick up at the thrift store. So, so make sure that you just do two thin coats. It's better to do thin coats than have one big globby coat. And you can always do more if you need to. Next, I'm gonna be using these picks that I grabbed at the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to be using three of the small eggs. And I'm going to paint these eggs an aqua or light blue color. This is just some cheap paint that you can grab at uh, Walmart. And to paint these, all I'm going to do is kind of take my brush and I'm just kind of smushing it around. And as I'm doing that, this little egg is moving around. And so it's helping me to cover it with the paint. And I'm just going to do that to all three of the eggs. And then I ended up doing two coats on these little eggs. My next step will just be to remove the contact paper from the letters. You can do this while it's still wet if you like. You really don't have to wait for it to dry. You can if you want. I wouldn't let it sit too long, but um, if you want to do it when it's wet, it's no big deal. Next, I decided I wanted to add a little bit more of that white paint and distress these letters a little bit. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you're not already so that you can see all of our DIYs we post throughout the week. I usually post around three to four DIYs each week. So once this gets completely dry, I'm just going to use some E6000 because it's a really hard glue that will hold things together. Just glue all of the bowls together. To reinforce this, I'm going to turn the bowls to the back side and I'm going to take my hot glue gun and popsicle sticks and just make it um, go along the back where the bowls are connected. This will just help to make it more secure. The other thing you could do is you could add hot glue down between the seams if you want a little bit more stability. From there, I found this cute little nest when I was thrifting. I think it was 50 cents, and I'm just going to hot glue it so it will be my O, and I think this is going to be really cute sitting out for Easter this year. Next, I wanted to add a little bit of greenery, so I'm getting these lamb's ear. These you can find at Walmart. They're really cute, and I'm just going to put a little bit of greenery on this, and I think it dresses it up a little bit. The final touch to my project is adding in the eggs. So I'm just going to place them on my nest and then just use some hot glue to hold them in place. Super easy 
And it just, I think this turned out really cute and you could sit it out on your table. You could put it on a shelf, hang it on a wall. You could do so many things with it. So I'm really loving these wooden bowls. And I know some of you have found them in our Facebook group. So many of you have showed me that you found these. So I hope you're enjoying these wooden bowl projects. Next, we're going to be making some really cute books. So I'm using these letters from Dollar Tree and I picked up two books at the thrift store and I'm just going to tear the covers off of them. Um, I know you can get books at Dollar Tree, but sometimes you can get them a lot cheaper at the thrift stores. Paperback books at my thrift store on half price day are only 25 cents. So definitely check your thrift stores. And then I'm just going to come in with that same gray paint that I used on the sign and I'm just going to paint paint a layer on the edge of my books, not doing the top or the bottom. And then from there, I'm going to use these Dollar Tree little stencils, and I'm going to be spelling out B on the top book and kind on the bottom book. These stencils actually fit really nicely onto these books, so I was pretty impressed with them. Um, you can find these at most Dollar Trees. Next, I'm going to use Waverly white chalk paint, and I'm just going to paint over these letters completely so it's covered and I only did one coat with both of the paints here I think one coat was plenty and then I let that completely dry before I decided to take the letters off but I'm just gonna peel the letters off and then you'll be able to see the gray that I painted underneath and then I'm just going to stack the two books together and then I'm going to use this lace ribbon that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. And then this little succulent is part of a succulent that I bought at Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to use part of it as a little greenery topper. You could use anything for this and I'm just wrapping this up like a present and a bow and I'm going to tie it at the top and then I'm going to be putting in my little greenery piece. You guys, this is actually probably my favorite project out of the three. I love the way this turned out. So you guys are going to have to let me know below which project was your favorite. But I just think this is so cute. And I think you could do so many different words and lettering just to really dress these up. If you guys are liking these projects, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Let's see if we could get this video to 4,000 likes. I really appreciate it and it helps out my channel so much. So my next project are these candle stands and you guys a piece and they're adorable as is, but they're really not my decor style. So I decided I was going to paint them with that same Waverly white chalk paint. I know I use this color all the time. I need to try to go for some different colors. So maybe I will look for some different colors, but I'm always using the white. But I am just going to use my foam brush and stencil this on and Instead of distressing it afterwards, I decided when I painted that I was just going to leave that intersection showing. And so that way I don't have to take paint off afterwards. So that's a tip if you're not wanting to sand it off, just kind of leave a little bit so it gives it that distressed look. I did come in and do two coats on these, but it's definitely kind of distressed and farmhouse looking. And this just fits my decor a lot better to do the white. And I think for $2, these are really nice candle stands to have. So make sure you check out candle stands at your thrift store because they do sell them there and they can be really expensive. But if you, you know, paint them to match your decor, it's awesome. So I hope you guys will check out your thrift store and see what you can find that you could possibly refresh and do a DIY with. Have you guys had a chance to check out my latest Dollar Tree DIY? If not, I'm going to link it right here so you guys can watch that one next. It's really farmhouse and I think you'll enjoy those projects. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!